G'day team, how you doing? Got Wednesday's workout for you. Um, Gonna get straight into it, into the home gym slash living room slash kitchen area. All we've got to start off with is gonna be moving through at warm up pace for three rounds. You've got either a 100 meter jog or eight bodybuilder burpees, which is a no press up burpee, just like that. Once you've completed that, you're gonna go through some wide step walking lunges. So a big step forward, back knee shouldn't touch the ground, pushing the hips forward, get a good stretch down our hip flexor, big step forward just like so. We've got a small space, then just do it on the spot. If you can do a walking lunge sweep, we're going through eight reps of that. And then we're finishing the round with four down and back bear crawls. So I start back here, all fours, moving forward, here. That's one, I'm gonna complete four reps of that. Okay, three rounds of that work. Then, what we've got for our strength piece is four rounds to get through every three minutes. So we're on a time domain, so we need to make sure that those reps and the skill level is gonna allow us to get some rest, okay? So, if we have no equipment, the two movements we're gonna run through is gonna be, first one is gonna be eight to 10 plank hip raises. Okay, so a side plank position. Get our hips up as high as you can, tap the ground and back up, okay? Just like so. That's movement number one, you can do that exercise. Movement number two is gonna be eight Bulgarian split squats. We can get something, a foot raised on a back surface, just like so. Cool, means we can get a little bit lower, make the movement a little bit harder. If not, that's, a, that's fine. Just tap the knee and back down. We're going through eight each side for that. If we can, to make it a little bit harder, we're gonna add in a jump, okay? So from here, get the knee up, and then back down. Okay, again, using something at the back if we need to. Those are your two movements to run through. If we have a uh, barbell, then what we've got is some barbell rollouts. Obviously, I can't demonstrate that. But that's we're starting on our knees and get the bar going all the way out, making sure that we're sending our hips down, not just kind of sending our chest forward. Okay, so what's very common is we just kind of push the arms out like this and the hips stay back, make sure the hips go up with you to really make sure we're getting something out of that movement. Six reps of that. Then what you have is some front rack bar, bar Bulgarian split squats. So same position here, tap the ground, stand up tall. And then going through six each side, the front rack increase that weight to make it harder or put your foot on, the, uh, on something above a raised surface. And those are your two movements. Then if you're with on the dumbbell, like so, we've got a front rack Bulgarian split squat. Okay, just like I've demonstrated. Okay, if you have two dumbbells, cool. If it's too tough at the front rack position, find we're folding over a little bit, hands on the outside in a uh, suitcase position. And then second movement for you is gonna be a weighted Russian twist. So you can use that dumbbell that we have here. My dumbbell's nice and light, so it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, side to side. Okay, if you would have something that's gonna be too heavy, like if your dumbbell's too heavy, get something that's a little bit lighter. Or just really rotate the shoulder over, tap with both hands either side. Okay, whatever's gonna get through that. Okay, so you got those two movements you're gonna run through. Everybody is gonna complete um, either two to four wall walks as their third movement. 10 to 15 seconds uh, pause on the last rep if you can. Or we've got max distance handstand walk. Okay, if we're confident with that, sweet, shoot the distance is gonna allow you to get some decent volume in. Or alternatively, we've got um, those Russian twists for those who can't do the, the handstand stuff. Okay, just should be able to try and get some sort of wall walk position in, even if this is a press up the pike. Okay, um, but alternatively, you can do Russian twists if you're not doing them in movement one or two. Okay, so three minutes to get through those three movements there. Make sure you give yourself enough time to get some rest and get some repeatable sets in. Okay, conditioning. Cool one today. What we've got is three minutes of work, one minute rest, four rounds. What we're doing, block one, is gonna be a 400 meter run into max burpee to target. So if I come out for my run, so I've got the ceiling here, down into a burpee, up, tap. Okay, something where you, maybe you're not gonna get uh, something too dirty. All right, so burpee to target, the idea is that with a target, we need to reach, gets our shoulders open, our hips open, our knees open, so we're fully locked out, rather than a, just 
to stand out like this where our hips kind of close. Okay, so we're looking to open up with that movement. Okay, if you're looking at the three minute block and the 400 meter run is going to take too long, like let's say it's going to take you two minutes 30 to get that run done, why don't you bring the, the distance down to maybe a 300 meter run? Okay, so we're looking for about, you know, around that two minute mark for the run, about a minute for the max seven set. That's for block one. Block number two, what we have is you're going to do a 200 meter run. You're going to come in, you've then got 10 deck squats or 15 sit ups. Okay, I haven't done a deck squat in some time, so let's get this guys, it's very loud. Deck squat is down into a squat, roll back, and then up, standing up tall. Wasn't the best demonstration, but you get the gist. Using some sort of weight, um, ironically, makes it a little bit easier. You go down and get it forward. I know there's a lot of people who are watching this who are hoping I made that look a lot harder than it was, but the weight does make it a little easier because so you can push it forward and then catch yourself to pull yourself back up. Okay, if you're not doing deck squats, you're going to, to, to do sit ups, catch the normal butterfly sit up, and then your max effort for this is a burpee hurdle. If we have something to jump over, okay, so burpee this side, jump over something. Okay, something that's going to um, get some height. Um, or if you have a box, you can do burpee block jumps. Um, if we don't have anything, we can do a burpee tuck jump. Someone where we're actually jumping with this movement. Okay, so that's going to be block number two. Then for the third set, you're going to go back to block number one, and then complete block number two again. Three minutes on, one minute rest, four rounds. Cool team.